Good morning all and thank you for joining me as I announce the shortlist and winners for this year's EHP Barnard Spring Poetry Prize. Judged this year by the poet Ruth Beddow on the theme of travel, let's jump straight in with the shortlist. We have three poems in the commended category and the commended poems are Not Concentrating on the Motorway by Penny Blackburn, Thunder and Lemon by Charlotte Murray and Bay Two City by Jill Shaw. Congratulations to the three commended poets. We have three highly commended poems uh, this year and the highly commended poems and poets are Yuri's Remarkable Return to Earth by David Keyworth. I Meet My Bucket List, He is a Man with Tattoos by Imogen Wade. Mourner Kia by Allegra Mullen. Congratulations to the three highly commended poets for their poems. So let's go into the prizes now. Uh, the third prize this year, winning £50, and uh, the position of third prize, of course, as well, is Bodega, a postcard by Annie Johnson. Congratulations, Annie. The second prize this year, winning £75, and uh, the position of second prize is for Wiccan Fen by Olivia Tuck. And congratulations to you, Olivia. And the first prize this year is for the poem Cornish Celtic Way by Imogen Wade. Congratulations, Imogen, on the first prize this year. Uh, so my thanks go to uh, Ruth Beddow for judging the competition. Uh, next year's competition uh, will open in the autumn and run through to the end of March and will be on the theme of growth. And there will be a full announcement on that um, in due course. Please keep an eye out for it. Uh, all of these poems, all of these, these lovely poems can be read on the website, which is barnardprize.uk. So now let's hear uh, Imogen Wade's first prize winning poem, Cornish Celtic Way. And this is read by the actor P.K. Taylor. The Cornish Celtic Way is a spiritual walking route covering 125 miles from St. Germans to St. Michael's Mount. Cornish Celtic Way by Imogen Wade. That is what I believed, too. I believed in the painted organ at St. Issy Church and the footpath through the rusty farm that led us nowhere, the feature of my prayers. So now I was lost. I couldn't complain. I believed in the gold suns facing the pews in Little Petherick, which reminded me of the sun faces I found all over Sicily. I even believed in St. Eval, as I walked in the rain by the radiation signs opposite. Horror of God in the deathly camp, its blinking red light. I believed in the black sheep and the white sheep and the half-black, half-white sheep. I believed in the well of crystal water that held the fullness of my life, and even the chapel nearby that told me nothing. I believed in the way the clouds moved over the gorse, the slow worm twisting itself hoarse, or the time I lay near Morgan Porth, my mouth open to the rain. I believed in myself, and when the walk went on and on, I went on and on with it.